Pakistan is divided into four provinces and two autonomous territories, each with its administrative structure. Here are the provinces and territories of Pakistan. Provinces. Punjab. Located in the northeastern part of the country, Punjab is the most populous and developed province. It is known as the breadbasket of Pakistan due to its significant agricultural production. Sindh. Situated in the southern part of Pakistan along the Arabian Sea, Sindh is a major center of commerce and industry. Karachi, the largest city and economic hub of Pakistan is located in Sindh. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, KP. Located in the northwestern region of Pakistan, KP is known for its mountainous terrain. It shares borders with Afghanistan and has cultural and historical ties with the Pashtun ethnic group. Baluchistan. The largest province in terms of land area, Baluchistan is located in the southwestern part of Pakistan. It has a diverse landscape, including deserts, mountains, and coastal regions. Autonomous Territories. Gilgit Baltistan. This territory is located in the northern part of Pakistan and is known for its stunning mountain landscapes, including details of the Himalayas, Karakoram, and Hindu Kush ranges. Azad Jammu and Kashmir, AJK, situated in the northern part of the country, AJK is administratively separate from the rest of the provinces. It has its government and legislature and is adjacent to both India and Gilgit Baltistan. It's important to note that the administrative divisions and regions in Pakistan can sometimes be a subject of political and territorial disputes, especially in the case of Azad Jammu and Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan due to their proximity to India and the broader geopolitical context of the region. Certainly, there are several countries where agriculture prospers for specific reasons. Here are a few examples. Netherlands. The Netherlands is known for its highly advanced and productive agricultural sector. One of the main reasons for its success is its innovative use of technology and techniques such as precision farming, greenhouse cultivation, and hydroponics. The country's flat landscape and extensive network of canals also contribute to efficient irrigation and drainage. United States. The U.S. has a diverse range of agricultural production, thanks to its vast and varied landscapes. Advanced machinery, research, and technology have significantly boosted productivity. The use of genetically modified crops, irrigation systems, and extensive research and development have led to a prosperous agricultural sector. Brazil. Brazil is a major global agricultural player, especially in soybean and beef production. The country benefits from a large amount of arable land, favorable climate conditions, and investment in modern farming practices. However, there are concerns about deforestation and its impact on sustainability. India. India has a large and diverse agricultural sector due to its varied climates and terrains. The country's success is driven by traditional farming practices, but modernization and technology adoption have also played a role. The Green Revolution in the 1960s introduced high-yielding crop varieties, irrigation systems, and fertilizers, significantly boosting agricultural productivity. Israel. Despite its arid environment, Israel has made remarkable strides in agriculture through advanced irrigation techniques, water management, and technology. Drip irrigation and hydroponics allow efficient use of water resources, and research in desert agriculture has led to successful cultivation of crops in challenging conditions. France. France's agriculture is supported by its diverse landscapes and climates, as well as strict regulations that promote quality. The country's emphasis on terroir, the unique characteristics of a region's soil and climate, has led to the production of high-quality wines and cheeses, contributing to agricultural prosperity. China. China is a global agricultural powerhouse due to its vast land resources, diverse climates, and large labor force. The country's success is a combination of traditional and modern farming practices, as well as government investments in research, infrastructure, and technology. Each of these countries has specific reasons contributing to the prosperity of their agricultural sectors, ranging from technological innovation and favorable geographical conditions to government policies and investment. Keep in mind that the success of an agricultural sector depends on a complex interplay of factors, and the situation in any given country can change over time.